And good morning, it's your favorite neighborhood to ruin. And I uh, thought we'd say goodbye to the Messerschmitt BF110E. This has been a very pleasant um, plane to fly. It uh, is a standard heavy fighter with all the accoutrements and problems thereof. I was just looking at my, uh, we have a new format, of course, because we have the Skies of Albion. And I was looking at the turning, uh, time to turn 360 degrees, which was 16 seconds. And looking at uh, one of my uh, uh, standard fighters, the A7M, which is probably the best of all of them, you're talking about an 8 second. So it gives you an idea of the maneuverability or lack thereof. Now, it's a relatively fast aircraft. Remember, this is just a Tier 5 aircraft. Um, top speed at best altitude is going to be 404 miles an hour. This one is upgraded somewhat. Um, oh, well, it would help if I get on the right thing here, wouldn't it? Uh, we've upgraded everything. We now have the full uh, engines. Of course, this came standard. Uh, we've upgraded to the um, top of the line cannons for this model, and we've upgraded the turret from does a whopping 32 uh, damage per second. But believe it or not, we've had some fighters actually peel off when they start getting hit by it. That's amazing, considering, well, they just drive off. I can't really explain it. I don't think that would deter me for a second unless I was down to the last slivers of health. But uh, then again, I've been shot down by some rear uh, gunners before, too. All right. Uh, I took engine tuning and improved reflector sight um, for obvious reasons that I will tell you um, this is not the optimal for it. I probably would have also gotten... Um, uh, the either the heavy airframe or uh, the polish. Heavy fighters are all about speed and more or less straight line performance. And as such, they're boomer zoomers. They're excellent at taking down uh, bombers, and they uh, excel at that. And you can tell by the altitude performance in a Tier 5. Let's go ahead and kick that down. You're at almost 6,000 feet. Again, for a Tier 5, that's pretty darn good. Um, so you got excellent performance at a Tier 5 from the guns, the speed, and the altitude performance. And obviously, it turns like a pig. And not a particularly determined pig at that. One that's very fat, full, and has no intention of going anywhere. <laughs> but... Um, as long as you move it in a straight line and you remember that, you'll be doing all right. And you remember its role. Um, let's take another look at the upgrades here real quick. Remember that you do have a couple of 500-pound bombs that can come in useful. Um, you can assist your ground attack aircraft or your other multi-rolls with heavy fighters. Uh, so that can be useful. Let's go ahead and go to battle. I've enjoyed the aircraft as long as it's uh, you don't try to make it be something it's not. It's a lot of fun. The minute you start trying to try to turn with it, and I have done that on occasion, fallen into temptation and uh, try to follow a light fighter around too much, and then end up on them, with them on my tail, and my tail feathers promptly got burnt, and down I went. So don't do it. Don't even be tempted by it. Boom, zoom. Use your tail gunner. Kind of distract them that way. And you'll be a happier man. I have a mining plant down here, so my plan is that I'm going to run over here to the mining plant, drop bombs, and try to kill uh, GA aircraft that uh, belong to the enemy. I expect that to be a very little used uh, problem uh, area. 
though one can never tell. But it's nimble enough against ground attack aircraft that it should be successful at that role. Alright, so we'll come in here to a dive. We'll drop our two 500 pound bombs. And now we're done. Done everything we're supposed to do. Now my job is get some altitude. So I've got it out of the area. And it seems like we've forgotten rule 101. Anytime you attack an area and you leave anything standing, your enemy can come up and take it from you at will. So if you knock out everything, but you just leave one little soft target that takes a few seconds to kill, guess what? Then your enemy comes by and picks it off instead. you just given the enemy an entire sector for free. So keep that in mind. Now... Yeah, there's, uh, we got some robots in here, but we've just had enough, well, a lot of live players. So, we should be doing better than that. And we're going to use some of this boost to try to get back up to speed, because we're way low for a heavy fighter. And that's not what, really what our job is. And so, you're going to have, there's an 88A up there. Let's go ahead and kick in the alt. Remember these are 20 millimeters, you do have to give them a second to cool off every once in a while. They stop being terribly useful. We have our bow fighters up here. And as you remember from my videos from the bow fighters, they are no joke. They get behind you, you will be singing quote, near my god to thee. takes care of one. Let's go ahead and take care of close in on this uh, JU-88. Give him a little touch up there. And we have helped our team a little bit, hopefully. And there's a Spitfire to make life miserable for all us heavy fighters. And left alone, he will get on one tail after another and remind you why he's a light fighter and you're a heavy fighter. And so we're doing the thing I really don't like, which is trying to maneuver the light fighter. Luckily, I have friends, and it's awfully hard to use your maneuverability against two or three aircraft that are working against you. Now, for the most part, what you want to be doing is one passing. You made your shot. You had your effect. You got lucky. You're still alive. 
Don't overdo it. To our tail view. I'm sure Jesse will be back there, and he's not. This is interesting. I would have thought he would have gone for that. All right. So I know where we can get guns on something. And this aircraft will remind you that you have to be able to shoot from every angle take advantage of every uh, line of approach that the opposing aircraft will give you. All right, well, we did our bit. Um, captured an area, shot down aircraft, defeated the high. Um, I refuse to apologize when the rest of the team doesn't do theirs. <laughs> Just how I, get, I have to take it. Taking it as a personal insult when they don't uh, perform as well is just a waste of your time. Okay, so we destroyed two aerial targets, assisted with three, uh, did uh, 1,417 points of damage, <clears throat> did 5,588 um, points of damage to ground targets. That was over relatively quickly, and uh, we didn't do a good job of keeping caps, which is how you end up in that situation. Um, that leads me to suspect I should have stayed back at the mining camp and defended it. Uh, but we were getting our tails whacked so thoroughly over at the, at the uh, air base, I figured I'd better bail in. And we were. Uh, and you can see um, where we ended up there. Uh, but overall, I've really enjoyed this aircraft. Wish we'd had a better outing so we could have shown it off more to effect. Um, but I think you get a good idea of how to use it, what it looks like in fully upgraded condition. want to thank you. Remember to like the video if you like the video. If you don't, let me know why. Let me know what we can do to make it better. Uh, remember that I always need subscribers. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great day. And we'll talk to you later.